More than 20,000 kilometers gigantic network of inland waterways offers immense possibilities for cargo and passenger movement in India. Currently, various waterways are operational across the country. National Waterway 2, situated on mighty Brahmaputra in the northeastern region of our country, runs around 891 kilometers. To facilitate cargo and passenger movement in the region and beyond, Inland Waterways Authority of India, IWAI, has developed multimodal terminal and floating terminals at different strategic locations. A Roro terminal has been constructed at Dhubri. Roro services between Dhubri and Hatsingimari provides direct link between the state of Assam and Meghalaya for passenger and cargo movement. Cutting short road journey of around 220 kilometers, thereby saving precious time, fuel and environment pollution. Such Roro terminals are also coming up at other locations of NW2. National Waterway 1 is linked to National Waterway 2 through Indo-Bangladesh Protocol route directly linking North India to Northeastern India. The South Indian state of Kerala is home of National Waterway 3, a West Coast Canal. Running 205 kilometers from Kottapuram to Korlam, this inland waterway is fully operational. IWAI has hitherto erected eight terminals, while ninth terminal at Alapuria is almost ready to see the light of the day. In addition, Two more terminals within Cochin Port Trust Limit are being developed to operate roll-on, roll-off and lift-on, lift-off services. Currently, cargo transport services on NW3 are not only handling around 1 million ton cargo, but also changing the face of urban transport. Ceaseless efforts of IWAI to rejuvenate inland waterways is transforming National Waterway 4 also. This 2,890 kilometers long waterway is spread across various states on River Krishna, Godavari, Buckingham and Kakinada Canal. Under Phase 1, four passenger terminals are being erected at Durga Ghat near Vijayawada, Bhavani Island, Amravati and Vedadari on River Krishna. Roro services between Ibrahim Patinam and Lingaya Palam for transportation of construction materials on NW4 is already under operation. Sagacious planning and concrete efforts of IWAI for the growth of inland waterways is showing wonderful results across Goa waterway. Apart from handling cargo like iron ore and transporting passengers, this waterway has opened way for a booming river cruise tourism also. Rising river cruise tourism on Goa waterways NW1 on River Ganga, NW2 on River Brahmaputra and backwaters of Kerala are unfolding a glorious future for river cruise tourism industry. Facilitating around 72 million tons of cargo handling, Inland Waterways Authority of India is briskly moving ahead to make India equivalent to other developed nations in terms of commercial utilization of waterways.